Hello, friends and family. Welcome to Stasia's Recipes. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today, I'd like to share with you this delicious chicken stir fry that I made for my family of six. Let's get cooking. I'll begin by adding my salt and pepper, my onion and garlic powder, I'll add a tablespoon of cornstarch, my jalapeno peppers, which is optional, and we'll give it a mix. We'll cover it up and set it on the side. I'll begin by mixing my sauce, my dark soy sauce, hoisin sauce, my soy sauce, which is low sodium, oyster sauce, my honey, three tablespoons of honey, I'll add my chicken stock and I'll begin by grating a tablespoon of ginger. Also, we'll begin by grating a tablespoon of garlic. And I'll add the root of my onion, my green onion, into my mixture. And two tablespoons of cornstarch. I'll make sure to list all these ingredients in my description box. And please like, subscribe, comment, and hit that notification bell. Anytime I upload a video, You'll be one of the first to receive it. We'll now begin making our chicken stir fry. We'll add a tablespoon, about three tablespoons of oil. And then I'll add my chicken. We'll leave the chicken undisturbed for about a minute or two. And I'm using boneless chicken thighs, which I cut up myself. You can cut it up in cubes or strips. And we want to give it a quick stir. You want to leave it to cook for about a minute or two before you give it another mix. Our chicken is coming together really good. Give it a nice mix. And like I said, the jalapeno peppers is optional. It actually gives it a nice kick. chicken is almost done cooking and I love the stock that a chicken produce on its own it really adds so much flavor to the chicken stir-fry
our chicken is done we'll set it on the side and begin cooking the vegetables I'll add three tablespoons of my cooking oil then I'll add garlic and ginger which I cut up in small pieces you can also mince your garlic or blend the garlic and ginger it's up to you and we'll cook it for about a minute we'll add our onions and you want to cook the onion for about a minute or two the onion add a really delicious flavor to the chicken stir fry we'll then add our carrots and cook it for about a minute or two we'll add our broccoli florets and give it a nice mix We'll add our bell peppers and we'll give it another stir. Then add our chicken. And we'll give it a good, good mix. You do not want your vegetables to get too soft before adding your sauce. Now we add our sauce. And we want to give it a very good mix so everything get mixed in. Our chicken stir fry is almost done. This recipe is a quick, quick recipe. So you want to make sure you have everything ready to go before you start or begin. We'll then add our sesame oil which gives it that delicious Asian aroma and flavor. We'll then add our green onions and give it a nice mix. Our sauce is almost done. And guys, make sure you have your rice or whatever you're gonna be eating the stir fry with ready because it goes very quick. Now I'm going to pour it into my bowl and the stir fry is done. Guys, I paired mine with some white rice and it was delicious i hope you try this recipe please like subscribe comment and hit that notification bell so anytime i upload a video you will be one of the first to receive it mm, mm, mm. delicious thank you so much bye bye